Quad 66. All right, time to talk about the Numadrone flow motors, um, the 0702. These motors are in fact uh, dual ball bearing motors, and um, unlike the Beta FPV bearing motors, these are actually smooth, um, with a caveat, right? So I only bought one pack of these motors. So this is a sample of four motors, and same thing with the Beta FPV. I only bought four of these motors. So it's not like I've got a big, um, you know, big sample size here, but for the one-off, assuming that these motors represent the typical motor you'll get from Navy Drone, um, these motors are legitimately smooth. They were smoother even than um, these Beta FPV bushing motors, which um, at least at the start were nice and smooth. So that was pretty nice. Um, it was nice to get it up in the air, even on this frame, which is a little flexy. This is the Navy Drone um, V3 Cockroach, which is their lightweight version, um, which is kind of a... Uh, wobblier, softer kind of frame, and does not suppress noise as well as the Meteor 65 frame. But even on this frame, put it up in the air, it sounded great, it felt great, um, flew well. The main, so what's the catch? The main catch to this is a little bit of a weight penalty. So the Nubi Drone 0702 motor of the ones I recently kind of weighed up is the heaviest. And the difference is versus the Beta FPV um, bearing motor is negligible, I would say. So the Beta FPV motor, bearing motor, if you weigh four of them, it's 5.8 grams. And four of the Nubidrone flow motor is six grams. So it's a 0.2 gram difference. On the other hand, if you go with the Beta FPV bushing motor and you weigh up four of these, these come in quite a bit lighter. This is 5.3 grams. So it's now that's a non-negligible difference. That's 0.7 gram difference in the motor, which is a spinning thing, and it's going spinning up and down and stuff like that. And I do legitimately think that these motors, to me, the Beta FPV bushing motor, did feel like it had a little bit more pop, but I can't say that my overall flight experience was worse with the Nubi Drone motor. In fact, so far of the setups I've flown, this is my favorite. Just, I like that smoothness. I like when it's up in the air, that it sounds good, that you can hear when you're doing that yaw, when you're yawing around turns, you hear that like kind of whistling spool up kind of sound of that motor that's spinning a little faster to get the thing to yaw. Um, to me, it's just a really pleasant experience. And any downside in terms of a little bit of less, um, you know, pop on the punch out, I thought was, negligible compared to the overall experience of this just feeling good and feeling smooth. The thing I'll kind of hold off saying is what is the flight time on these? Um, as far as like kind of giving you a definitive thing is that uh, on the 300 battery I was getting about three minutes and on the 250 battery I was getting two and a half minutes but my batteries are absolutely detonating. So I've got the folded cell Nubidrone mode of batteries and they've sat for a while and those batteries after they sit, they just kind of like, and you start flying them again, they just, they don't like that. They don't like to sit. They like, you like, they like to be bought and flown and then thrown away. Because when you, when they sit for a while and you start using them again, they just kind of start puffing. So I've just like puffed so many of them that I don't really trust my flight times. So I don't know where these stand in terms of like flight time and things like that. And um, I need to get some fresh batteries and get some like, you know, fresh Happy Mile motors, which I think is kind of like the standard, you know, the Happy Mile, we bleed up PV. I think that we bleed up PV are rebadged Happy Miles, but I think I need to get like some gold standard to kind of compare it to, to give you sort of a flight time efficiency kind of thing. But as far as quality of the flight experience, um, it's up there. It's really good from Nubidrone. Granted, just four small sample of motors, but um, good job, Nubidrone. You've impressed me with something here, more so than you have with many other products of late. Um, let's jump over to the logs, and I'll show you what that looks like in the logs, and um, give you some conclusions. All right, let's jump into here. Um, so I've got the logs up, and I'm going to start with the um, Beta FPV bearing logs. And so all of these, I have them on the D-term roll, so gyro scaled would look um, good a little bit better, but I've got the D-term so we can see what is the D-term picking up, what's it amplifying, and you know what's our what's our quad really dealing with uh, in the PID loop. So 
on the bearing motors um, and also the bushing motors, but maybe not to quite the same degree, had this low frequency stuff here. I figured this was quite a bit of like, you know, prop washy kind of stuff, but um, now that I see the Nubidron motor, I'm not sure if this, I don't think this is all just prop wash. I think this is partially just um, stuff coming through from the motor. But if you kind of take a look at this and get a sense of it, um, this was pretty consistent from one uh, bearing motor run to the next. So same set of motors, but just two different runs kind of doing the same type of flight on both of them. And then if we jumped over to the bushing motors, to me there was just, there's still this problem area down here, but we just had less noise. So once you kind of get up into these higher frequencies where the filters start kicking in, um, I thought this looked a little bit better controlled on the bushing motor than the bearing motor. Maybe it's not a huge difference, but I thought it was enough to call it a difference. Now, the bigger difference to me comes in, kind of get this in your mind here. So a big problem area down here, fair amount of noise through here. And look what happens when we go to the newbie drone motor. So this is that same D-term roll. So it's the same thing. I've got the uh, slider the same, same type of flight. And look at this ugly peak, this low frequency peak. Not as bad as it was. I mean, we'll jump back and forth here a couple times. So beta FPV bearing motor and newbie drone bearing motor. And we'll go to the other Nubidron drone flight just to show you both flights, similar thing where that low, that really ugly low frequency noise, not as bad. Now take a look at the rest of it too, through this trough here, kind of keep that in your mind. And let's go over here and look at uh, the beta FPV. There's just more in here. You know, when we look at what's the notch doing, the notch is doing more work on these uh, beta FPV bearing motors compared to the newbie drone motor. Here in the newbie drone motor, this notch really isn't doing a whole lot. We, we would even probably think about like, you know, I still think it's placed in the right place because look, it's right in the middle of the pitch. The pitch has slightly lower noise band here. But, you know, maybe maybe think about on the newbie drone motors, I might think about tightening, tightening up this notch, making it a little narrower, getting a little less latency and getting some benefit out of that. From this, I think you could even maybe like, think about, do you, do you even think about just backing off all the filtering um, maybe on the flow motor as compared to the bearing motor? And so uh, these are both brand new sets of motors. Again, it's a low end, you know, this is just one set of beta FPV motor and just one set of the newbie drone motor. But if these are representative of what you actually get, then you might be able to think about actually different tuning with lower, um, not different tuning necessarily, but lower filtering on the newbie drone motor. Now, the difference is a little less dramatic with the bushing motor, but I still think it's different. Like this low frequency stuff down here, this is still not great on the uh, beta FPV bushing motor. Um, now I wouldn't say it's great on the Nubidron mode either, but it's clearly less bad. I mean, that's, that's a definite kind of difference um, down here, down low. And I think the rest of it too looks a little bit different. Maybe it's not as huge of a difference, but if you kind of get that in your mind for that bushing motor, and then we'll pop back over here to the bearing motor, the newbie drone bearing motor, and the newbie drone motor just to me, it looks better. And I think it's a similar story when we look at pitch. I'll just pop the pitch up here on that. Let's pop the pitch on here. And then let's get the beta FPV bearing motor. So I think it's a similar story in pitch. If you look at overall noise, this is the beta FPV bearing motor. And let's compare that to the pitch um, on the Nubidron drone bearing motor. You know, I think that's a difference that you can see is, is like a real, you know, real difference here. Let me make sure that's on pitch. Nope, okay, here's on pitch. I just grabbed the wrong one. Okay, so pitch there and pitch there. So. Newbie drone bearing motor, beta FPV, maybe not as huge of a difference, but this down low stuff, that's better there on the Newbie drone motor than the, than the uh, beta FPV. And the bushing motor, you know, again, I think the Newbie drone motor looks better. We can also take a look at the waterfall plots on these. So it's the frequency versus throttle. 
and I'm just going to do run one on these just so we don't beat this thing to death too much. I'm going to make sure we're going to be on the D term roll. And we'll do make sure we're on D term roll. And let's grab the beta FPV motor D term roll and get the waterfall plot. Okay, so beta FPV bearing motor, big old ugly, ugly thing down low. Um, kind of get this sort of baseline sense of uh, noise and you're, and you're kind of burnt into your mind. And then we're going to switch over to newbie drone bearing motor. Did we switch? Okay, here's the beta FPV bearing motor. And then let's switch to the newbie drone. And so clearly to me, that looks like a, a jump, you know, beta FPV, new drone. So I think that's, I think that's a difference that, you know, to my eye, at least, I think that's obviously a little bit different. Um, and to me also, I felt that this just sounded better in the air. It, it sounded like a cleaner, sort of more premium experience if you could consider anything in this whoop size to be premium whatsoever. All right, um, in terms of what I have right now, I think, I think kind of some conclusions here is, if you are looking for that clean flight, sort of that premium feel flight of the motors I've tested here in this little comparison, which is the newbie drone, uh, double bearing motor, and then the two beta FPV, the beta FPV bushing motor and the beta FPV um, bearing motor. Uh, the newbie drone motor to me clearly has the benefit in terms of kind of the cleanest sounding flight. The bearing motor from beta FPV, I wouldn't buy any more of these based on this example. I don't know if somebody else has a good experience with them, you know, post, post that up in the comments so we know that maybe I got a bad batch or something like that. But for me, the decision really is, would be between um, the beta FPV bushing motor to save the weight, understanding that you're going to give up a little bit in terms of noise, but it still sounds pretty decent, but you're going to give up a little, you know, a little bit on the noise front in order to get lighter weight. And it's notable. It's, you know, it's 0.8 grams. That's real weight. Um, so I think that that's really the difference to make. Now, if you're looking for a, you know, kind of build it and fly it and forget it sort of quad, I think the new drone bearing motor uh, is probably going to be the way to go. I mean, we have to beat them up some just because you got the double bearings and you don't have to worry about the bushing wearing out. Um, on the flip side, you know, realistically speaking, is the shaft going to bend on these things before that even becomes an issue? Maybe, I don't know. But anyways, um, I do need to get some new batteries so I can get a little bit more uh, realistic flight times for you. But that's a, that's a nice start from the new drone 0702 flow motor, uh, their double bearing motor. All right, till next time. Cheers.